because the two sides are still hundreds of billions of dollars apart, Speaker Boehner is holding that vote tonight on what he describes as a fallback plan, but what Democrats describe as a bill to nowhere. Negotiations between Speaker Boehner and the White House ground to a halt today, as everyone watched to see if he and House Republican leaders would get the votes they needed to pass Plan B, a bill preventing tax rates from going up for households making less than $1 million a year. Majority Leader Eric Cantor. We protect 99.81% of American taxpayers from a tax increase in these very difficult economic times. That wasn't good enough for some conservatives who said taxes should not go up for anybody. To placate them, Speaker Boehner introduced a second bill, cutting spending by about $200 billion. The White House says the reason that you are resorting to Plan B is because you realized you didn't have as much Republican support as you wanted for your own proposals in fiscal cliff negotiations. Is that true? Listen, the president knows that I've been able to, to keep my word on every agreement we've ever made. Uh, and the fact is, is that uh, his plan uh, is not balanced. And as a result, time's running short. Uh, I'm going to do everything I can to protect as many Americans from an increase in taxes as I can. But Democrats argued Plan B would raise taxes on 20 million low- and middle-income families because it allows the child tax deduction to drop from $2,500 a child to 1000 Majority Leader Harry Reid said even if Plan B passed the House, it would be dead on arrival in the Senate. We are not going to do anything to protect the Tea Party-driven leadership in the House. It's not what the American people want. It's not what they voted for. With no deal in sight, Leader Reid announced today that the Senate would leave soon for the Christmas holiday and come back on December 27th. At that point, Scott, there will only be four days left before the deadline. Nancy, thank you.